I'm sorry, Ram. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, we can hear now. Yeah, yeah sure. So yeah, the uh, so the today's topic is uh, local variables versus uh, functional global variable. Today, I chose this topic because uh, this is going to be suitable for uh, all the level of lab users. Uh, so myself, Muruganathan, I'm a, a certified lab architect and I'm a graphics pro professional instructor as well. And I am one of the coordinator for Chennai lab user group. Okay, let's. Uh, just, this is the outline for today's presentation. I'm just going to talk about uh, the local variables and and functional global variables, and it's a quick comparison between two, both of them. So as we can see, the local variables uh, we can able to create a local variable for every terminal that is present in the front panel. Like uh, here, I can show you the how 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 can we create a local variables for the terminals? Right, either we can create right click on it and choose create and create a local variable, choose it. Otherwise, you can choose the local variable from uh, programming a structures palette, and you can choose what uh, terminal you need to be used with the local variables. So, when we create a local variables, it will only appear in the block diagram, not in the front panel. So, writing the local variables is uh, same as passing the data to the terminal every terminal so and one more thing is this this is not inherently the not part of the labio data flow execution model so it will break the execution <laughs> model. so um and we can uh re we can read and uh, from and uh, write into the local variables and one more uh, and even if it is a control we can write the data and even if it is an indicator we can read the data from the indicator as well in effect uh with the local variable we can access a front panel object as both input and output and it is a shared resource so we need to handle it uh, very carefully within the our programs and it will lead to if not if you are handling if you are reading and if you are writing in multiple places then it will uh, leads to a race condition so race condition i hope everyone aware just give you an uh, intro so if you are trying to uh, write in uh, in the same terminal or same indicator in multiple places it will leads to a confusion and it will give you an appropriate result so that's leads to a, um all, i mean race conditions so uh, and if you consider the local variable, it is the easiest method to pass data in between the uh, in between different uh, loops that is running in the same VI. And and one more thing is, it is not a safest method as we are getting the as we are, there is a high chance of getting uh, uh, rare, I mean occurring the race condition between uh, when we are using the local variables in multiple places for same writing and reading. And one more uh, main important thing is uh, we need to consider the memory considerations uh, because um, local variables make copies of data buffers. So when you read uh, from a local variable, you, you are creating a new uh, data buffer from its associated control. So if you use local variable to transfer large amounts of data from uh, one place to uh, other in the block diagram, you generally using the more memory. Consequently, you have a slower execution speed than if you transfer the data using wire. So uh, if you need to store the data and during the execution, consider to use a uh, shift registers. So, <clears throat> uh, so this is going to be a three important points for local variables. If you must perform more than one action on a local variable, or even you can consider the global variable, uh, make sure you determine the order of execution. If not, it is going to be difficult. Uh, and if you are using only, if you decide to use within one loop, we can consider using shift registers or wires instead of wire local variable. Or if you are more using more than uh, one loop or multiple loops that is running in the same way, you can consider to use uh, FGVs. So that is our next topic here. So the FGV, so a functional global variable it is a sub vi with these defined uh, uh, characteristics that is having the un uh, initialized shift registers and so unusual shift register on a while loop causes a lab view to allocate a storage for a single value that persists as long as the calling vi remains in the memory the another point the second point is single iteration while loop so here if you see the uh, image uh, i have connected to the true true constant to the while loop so it will go it's going to run only one time so the while loop merely a mechanism to hold say shift register here so case registers 
So in the case register with the enum control, then the case register selects the appropriate operation. They basically we can read and write, and if you want, we can uh, add one more, uh, add more functionalities like uh, do uh, like an in increment or decrement or whatever function you want. And the main important thing is for uh, uh, functional global is a non-reentry VI. So they, this VI should the, this VI what we are using as a low, uh, FGV must be a non-entrant. We can choose this to uh, from uh, VI properties and execution uh, tab, you can choose to choose uh, this option. And this execution mode ensures that only one instant of the sub VI exists in the target and multiple instances of sub VI all refer to the same stored value. It won't create a uh, separate buff data buff buffer as like a local variable. So that is one more advantage. And so these are some use cases for functional global variables. You can able to use this for communicate data status and many more things between different loops. And you, the latest value may, may it will be available if you are using it. And you can use it to stop uh, uh, parallel loops that is running and you can, as I said, you can able to increase the uh, uh, activities or uh, additional uh, steps that need to be performed within the uh, functional global variables. And these are two uh, uh, advantages that I found, uh, which when we are using uh, functional global variables over over global over over local variables, that is one is a memory efficiency. The stored value exists only one place, whereas in uh, local variable it is creating a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, data buffers and uh, it wants a copy of the data. So this is how it's the record race conditions that is have uh, that uh, happening when you are using the local variables. So this uh, comparison that uh, I have put us uh, based on the last uh, five slides that we have discussed. So when the best choice to use the local variables to initialize the controls, that is when we are trying to write data to the controls. So uh, this is the best choice when we can use and the, if you are just can uh, this is same as what we had last discussed and uh, you can additional points yeah so okay, we can use it uh, to in parallel loops within a vi and this is going to be a target scope can be used within the same vi or in a different time up uh, thanks <laughs> yeah so yeah yeah questions so offline please question? yeah sure uh, thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Morgan.